surfs up, and romance takes a ride on some rough waves for a small-town boy who finds that love doesn't come easy because you can't hurry love. Next on HBO. Introducing Martin Tupper. One man, alone, face-to-face -face with life in the 90s. The Countess is, is caught in bed with the Arabian. Right. Uh, who's the Arabian? Oh, then I did read it right. Why is she having an affair with her horse? I could really fall for you in a big way. And that thought terrifies me. Me too. Pardon? More sushi? What am I going to do with a 20-year-old? One thing I've learned is take your time. When? When you're with a girl, when you're thinking about being with a girl, even when you're with yourself. So this is Martin Tupper, face to face with life in the 90s. Can he survive it? <laughs> Dream On, a sexy new comedy series for grown-ups. The new episode premieres each Sunday. Where else but HBO? Heather Chandler, Heather McNamara, Heather Duke, and Veronica Sawyer, the most powerful clique at Westerberg High. Why are you such a mega frat? Because I can be. Most people would die to get into it. Heather number one just looked right at me. Veronica would kill to get out of it. You were nothing before you met me. Now JD has come to answer her prayers. I'm a no rest build up man myself. Stuff will kill her. He's either the man of her dreams uh, oh. or a nightmare come true. Now! I love my dead gay son. Life can suck! Is this turnout weak or what? I had at least 70 more people at my funeral. I loved you. I was coming up here to kill you. That's it. We're breaking up. The sleeper hit of 1989. Winona Ryder. Christian oh. Slater. Heathers. A teenage love story with a body count. I'm going to have to send my SAT scores to San Quentin instead of Stanford. Premier Saturday. It's simply the best summer ever for movies on HBO. Mel Gibson. Danny Glover, from the director of Lethal Weapon, the scalding hit Lethal Weapon 2. Peter Falk, Brenda Vaccaro, Jerry Lewis, Diane Weiss, Emily Lloyd, the tough, bittersweet comedy Cookie. Richard Dreyfuss, Terry Garr, David Johansson, Michelle Phillips, Big Spenders, Let It Rhyme. It's simply the best movies on HBO. The following movie is rated R. How long can a street punk like Judd Nelson pull off passing for a preppy at a snooty academy? As long as he's making the grade. Next on HBO. Brace yourself for Blonde Ambition, Madonna, live, Sunday, August 5th, only on HBO. Have simply the best summer ever when HBO treats you to a four-day weekend. Friday, it's a pair of twin bills that start out with two HBO exclusive series. At 8, Tales from the Crypt. At 8.30, Dream On. Then, Double Feature Friday serves up Academia Nuts. At 9, Steward of School. And at 10.30, Seniors Week. Saturday at 9, Christian Slater and Winona Ryder star in the premiere of Heathers. And at 10.45, if you missed its premiere, Batman. Sundays at 8, Hollywood's biggest hits. This Sunday, Timothy Dalton is 007 in License to Kill. Then every Sunday at 10, a new episode of HBO's all-new sexy adult comedy, Dream On. On Monday, the weekend keeps right on going with Babar at 7.30. Then at 8, the Monday main event, Harrison Ford and Melanie Griffith star in Working Girl. At 10, firearms have become one of our nation's leading causes of death. Don't miss Guns, A Day in the Death of America, America Undercover. HBO's four-day weekends, giving you simply the best summer ever.
The following movie is rated R. A touching drama of a young man's dilemma with his own sexuality, who learns to face the future with confidence in What If I'm Gay, next on HBO. An HBO original movie. Head out to the wide open spaces when Lou Gossett Jr. and Anthony Edwards lead an outlaw gang in hot pursuit of a group of desperados. I want to rescue a young girl who was kidnapped by a man presumed to be named El Diablo. They've got themselves some horses. Where are you from, boy? And a bunch of guns. You need bigger bottles. They just need to learn how to use them. The old Diablo is sure gonna drop a load of manure in his pants when he sees you coming at him. <laughs> it's not easy tracking down a ruthless gang of misfits. You just shot him in the back. His back was to me. Ran as fast as I used to be, but uh, I cheat real good. They're gonna need all the help they can get. Now, if you will all join me in reciting the Lord's Prayer. Yeah! Lou Gossett Jr. and Anthony Edwards star in the HBO original movie, El Diablo. Premieres Sunday, July 22nd on HBO. Ah, summer in the city. Working. No way to spend the weekend. How about a weekend at the beach? Tar Beach. But wait. Hold the phone, buddy. I got it. I got the $2 million. Our heroes have discovered something, and Bernie, their boss, is about to reward them. How would you two like to come to my house at the beach? The man absolutely loves us. You have to kill them, Vito. But things don't always go as planned. Um, he's dead. But hey, why should that ruin a weekend of fun in the sun? Ladies, hello. How are you today? Wild parties. Oh, Bernie, you animal, you are insatiable. Dancing, romancing. Oh, my God, this can't be happening to me. High-speed yeah. chases. Bernie would have loved it. Jonathan Silverman and Andrew McCarthy spend a weekend at Bernie's. Hi, Bernie! See you at the party tonight! Today on HBO. Michael Keaton. I'm Batman. Kim Basinger. I'm Vicky Bale. And Jack Nicholson as the Joker. Really get a load of me. The blockbuster motion picture. Batman. Batman, Saturday on HBO. The stakes are high. The women are beautiful. And Bond is back. Only this time, he's not following orders. Effective immediately. Your license to kill is revoked. We're not going to believe who this guy is. Former British agent. 007's got a personal score to settle in License to Kill, Sunday on HBO. Heather Chandler, Heather McNamara, Heather Duke, and Veronica Sawyer, the most powerful clique at Westerberg High. Why are you such a mega brat? Because I can be. Most people would die to get into it. Heather number one just looked right at me. Veronica would kill to get out of it. You were nothing before you met me. Now J.D. has come to answer her prayers. I'm a no-arrest build-up man myself. Stuff will kill her. He's either the man of her dreams... Uh, oh. ...or a nightmare come true. Now! I love my dead gay son. Life can suck! Is this turnout weak or what? I had at least 70 more people at my funeral. I loved you. I was coming up here to kill you. That's it. We're breaking up. The sleeper hit of 1989. Winona Ryder. Christian Slater. Heathers. A teenage love story with a body count. I'm gonna have to send my SAT scores to San Quentin instead of Stanford. Premieres Saturday. Brace yourself for blonde ambition. Madonna, live, Sunday, August 5th, only on HBO. Oh, 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 oh.
Emilio Estevez is a high school wrestler who faces a new challenge when a team member becomes his opponent in To Climb a Mountain, next on HBO. Brace yourself for blonde ambition. Be there for Madonna Live, only on HBO August 5th. Now brace yourself for a chance to win HBO's Madonna Blonde Ambition World Tour 90 sweepstakes. Grand prize, a four-day expense paid trip for two to an exotic European city where you'll see Madonna live in her tour finale. First prize, a Pioneer Surround Sound Home Entertainment Center featuring a 50-inch big screen TV, combination CD laser disc player, and more. Plus, 25 second prize winners receive the I'm Breathless CD. Don't just stand there, let's get to it. To enter, hand print your name, age, address, and phone number on a postcard and send it to HBO, the Madonna Blonde Ambition World Tour 90 Sweepstakes, P.O. Box 3587, Syosset, New York. All entries must be received by July 23rd. Brace yourself for Blonde Ambition, only on HBO. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, summer in the city. Working. No way to spend the weekend. How about a weekend at the beach? Tar Beach. But wait. Hold the phone, buddy. I got it. I got the $2 million. Our heroes have discovered something, and Bernie, their boss, is about to reward them. How would you two like to come to my house at the beach? The man absolutely loves us. You have to kill them, Vito. But things don't always go as planned. Um, he's dead. But hey, why should that ruin a weekend of fun in the sun? Ladies, hello. How are you today? Wild parties. Oh, Bernie. You are insatiable. Dancing. Romancing. Oh, God, this can't be happening to me. High-speed yeah. chases. Bernie would have loved it. Jonathan Silverman and Andrew McCarthy spend a weekend at Bernie's. Hi, Bernie. See you at the party tonight. Today on HBO. Deep in the heart of horror, there are secrets screaming to get out. Welcome to the crypt. Terrifying tales of how things happen. Mm -hmm. Of the powers that be, and those powers that would like to be. Perhaps, like, maybe you should get a new host? Learn the secrets of the crypt, if you dare. <laughs> Bobcat Goldway takes you behind the screens. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy fright. Saturday on HBO. Michael Keaton. I'm Batman. Kim Basinger. I'm Vicky Vale. And Jack Nicholson as the Joker. It'll get a load of me. The blockbuster motion picture. Batman. Get those wonderful toys. Batman. Saturday on HBO. Heather Chandler, Heather McNamara, Heather Duke, and Veronica Sawyer, the most powerful clique at Westerberg High. Why are you such a mega brat? Because I can be. Most people would die to get into it. Heather number one just looked right at me. Veronica would kill to get out of it. You were nothing before you met me. Now JD has come to answer her prayers. I'm a no rest build up man myself. Still will kill her. He's either the man of her dreams, or a nightmare come true. I love my dead gay son. Life can suck! Is this turnout weak or what? I had at least 70 more people at my funeral. I loved you. I was coming up here to kill you. That's it. We're breaking up. The sleeper hit of 1989. Winona Ryder. Christian oh. Slater. Heathers. A teenage love story with a body count. I'm gonna have to send my SAT scores to San Quentin instead of Stanford. Premier Saturday. It's simply the best summer ever for movies on HBO. Harrison Ford, Sean Connery, the super epic adventure Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Chris Christopherson, Cheryl Ladd, Daniel J. Travanti, Intrigue, Sci-Fi Suspense, Millennium. Ed Harris, Mary Elizabeth Antonio, from the director of Aliens, the sci-fi smash, The Abyss. It's simply the best movies on HBO. Welcome to the set of Gremlins 2. 
Director Joe Dante has brought original Gremlin stars Zach Galligan and Phoebe Cates to New York City and put them to work in a massive high-tech skyscraper, along with a real estate tycoon and his management team, a mad scientist, a monster movie host, and a few familiar faces. When filming began, the mood on the set was quite optimistic. It's great to be working in New York right now. Well, what could be better than shooting in New York? I'm just surprised about the good attitude everyone has, you know, including the Gremlins. A lot of Gremlins are feeling fine. They're very happy. They haven't worked in five years. So I think they're pretty excited to be working again. And that excitement was shared by all. You know, we're just 100% upbeat right now. But right now did not last long. The mood took a sudden turn as we moved indoors to cover Christopher Lee's big scene with original Gremlin star Gizmo. Uh, sorry. Gizmo doesn't want you guys on the set. Abruptly kicked off the set, we soon discovered that ours was not an isolated incident. Can't believe it kicked off the set by the Gremlins. You guys still here? The early optimism was gone. Gremlins 2 was now a different set. Can I, can I tell you something? Can, can I talk about this? It's turned into a, a disaster, a nightmare. <laughs> the picture's fallen into the hands of the Gremlins. I think they know that uh, can't make the movie without them, and they're getting very independent. And they're just not very cooperative. I mean, in all the time that we've spent between the two pictures, they've developed their own ideas of the way things should be. Did this include giving Gizmo the authority to kick people off the set? Uh, he was just uh, putting on his prima donna act, and he just didn't want anybody on a set. So what am I going to do? He's the star. I mean, you know, they think they're stars, and uh, either I just, I, they can't be controlled. I mean, at times, they're extremely demanding. At times, I mean, you know, you get Gizmo saying, well, I'm, I'm tired, I've had enough for the day, and uh, that's it. No more research, no more work, no more filming. Our next visit found evidence of this. Production had come to a standstill because Gizmo and friends had called for taxis and were off joyriding around the city. They don't want to work. They're never on time. <laughs> In a way, they're the worst of what actors are. Every time an actor has a take in this movie, you do it like three or four times. If it's a gremlin scene, you shoot it 20 times, 25 times. I mean, it's just, it's just these little, these little heads started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. They said, Zach, the title of this movie is Gremlins. Get it? Gremlins. They've just completely... I mean, I no longer have a, have a trailer. Despite these problems, production continued. Hey, the Gremlins want you video guys out of here now. Without us. Able to observe only from afar, we decided to go to the source of the problem, who we located as he was upgrading his accommodations. But we found Gizmo hard to believe as paranoia engulfed the set. Maybe I shouldn't be talking about this. Has anybody else talked about this? I've had strange notes in my dressing room saying, uh, do not do this interview. They really think, oh, I don't know if I can really talk about this. And I get a phone call the other night, and there's weird voices on the line. And that's a kind of psychological thing that, that, that I never thought that they could be capable of. And Joe can't really do anything about it. He, he seems, well, frazzled, quite frankly. It's the old, old saw or saying, give him an inch and he'll take a mile. Here's your coffee, sir. I don't know. I can't wait till this picture's over. You know, we've been in the production now for several months, and I would say that the gremlins are really starting to wear people down. With morale at an all-time low, how much worse could things get? We got gremlins taking over the building. I don't have time to play around, all right? They're taking over the whole joint. I don't know. Frenzy was an understatement. No, I can't talk anymore. Sorry. Inside, we found the building in total ruins. With the actors distraught and now the sets destroyed, it seemed likely that the film would never make it to the big screen. But not everyone had given up. Somebody's got to put their foot down and be boss. And I've uh, just, I told them. I said, look, this is my picture. You're the actors. I'm the director. And uh, when it comes right down to it, you don't get to come into the editing room. I, I edit it myself.
Estevez is a high school wrestler who faces a new challenge when a team member becomes his opponent in To Climb a Mountain, next on HBO. Hi, I'm Jim Fife. If you're a parent, you've probably heard, Mom, Dad, please buy me that, right after your child has seen a TV commercial for some great-looking toy. So you buy it, your child tries it out, and they're disappointed. Have we got a show for you. You'll see how commercials are made and find out why what you see is not always what you get. Mr. Announcer, take it away. Buy me that with host Jim Fife. Tomorrow on HBO. So watch it with your kids. I gotta get out of generic this summer. I'm gonna lose my mind. Meet Hoops McKenzie. He's a young man going places. And this is just the vehicle to take you there. But first, it's a quick jog to Nantucket. Hi, I met you at the docks yesterday. Hello. Hi. For introspection, personal development, and the joys of camaraderie. Hello, ladies. I am here for your daughters. And when he's not strolling the beach, savoring grandma's cooking, or embracing the vigors of friendly competition, my car. He's stuck on being in love. See, there's this demigoddess he'd like to see more of. It's too late for lobotomies and too hot for straitjackets. John Cusack, Demi Moore, and Bob Goldthwait. One crazy summer, Friday on HBO. Remember number five, the robot who came alive? Hello, bozos. He's back. And he's improved. Increased memory. I come with a utility pack. Dozens of gadgets for outdoor living and even my own Nike swoosh. He's in the big city helping his friend and creator find romance. You can call me B-E-N. I spell it Ben. And defending against bad humans. Short Circuit 2. To the moon, Alice! Saturday on HBO. Oh my, how time is fun when you're having place. On the next exciting episode of Encyclopedia Brown Boy Detective... What do you know? It's a regular cat, man. But who is the cat burglar? There were only three people close enough to have done it. Would you believe how to marry mystical magician? Would you believe <laughs> Magic Larry confused comedian? Who are you, Sherlock High Tops? Would you believe Bandini, expert swordsman? Don't miss Encyclopedia Brown in the case of the incredible Culpepper. They really turned Mrs. Brown into a lion. Sunday on HBO. I sure hope that cougar can cook. There comes a time when life changes. You must start to live your dreams. Mr. Miyagi, welcome to your dream. Huh? Mr. Miyagi's little trees. And set some dreams aside. I'm proud of this title. Why can't I defend it? If karate use, defend the plastic metal trophy. Karate no mean nothing. I need your title. You don't enter, and that affects my financial future, Daniel. And I'm not going to let that happen. Get it? If karate use, defend honor. Defend their life. Karate me something. And there are those. It's been nine months since I've had a student walk through my door. Who harbor evil dreams. This slope, what's his name? Miyagi. And that punk kid. I'm gonna get them for what they did to you. They made you suffer. So I'm gonna make them suffer. And suffer and suffer. And when I think they've suffered enough, then I start with the pain. Well, this will all seem like a happy memory compared to what I do to you. And what we all do to her. Ralph Macchio, Pat Morita, The Karate Kid 3. Monday on HBO. Brace yourself for Blonde Ambition. Madonna, live. Sunday, August 5th, only on HBO. Oh, 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 oh. It's a simple.